Hey hello guys, it's How to Tech Simplified. I hope you're doing well today and in this video I will be showing you how to free up a load of disk space on your PC or laptop. Now this method works for all the recent updates for Windows and will work for Windows 11, 10 and below. So let's get straight into it. Now for the first method we're going down to the Windows icon right here. We press it and we go to the search bar and we type in percentage temp percentage now this will take you to the temporary files folder so simply open it up and here are all the temporary files loaded on your computer that you don't need which takes up a load of space so simply press ctrl a and then a press uh, right click it and from there delete it now this will take it to the recycle bin if there's any files that don't work simply try again or skip them now once this is done simply head to your recycle bin right here right click it and empty the recycle bin now this will permanently delete all the files inside your recycle bin and will clean up a load of space we press continue and as you can see right here it frees up a load of space already now for the next one we're going down to the windows icon once more we right click it and we open up the run option right below search now once you're in the run option simply type in a prefetch right there press ok and it will take you to this little window now these are also a lot of temporary files so simply Control a to select all of them right click them and delete them now the same for this it will sometimes ask you to uh, skip certain files so simply select all of them and skip them and let's head to the next step now from here we're going to the run once more so simply type the start icon uh, go to run and from there open up temp now this will open up a different temporary files folder right here and as you can see it's loaded with files so simply press ctrl a to select all of them right click them and go to the recycle bin so delete them as you can see there are some folders that are access denied now simply give them access do this for all the current items press continue and it will start deleting them now here you can see that some files won't be deleted simply select all the current items press skip and it will start the process again now as you can see it frees up a load of space and let's head to the next step now for the following step we're going to use the windows disk cleanup so simply head down to search right here and type in disk cleanup now this will open up an official uh, Windows application so simply select the drive that you want to clean for me it's the C drive simply select it press OK and it will start a disk cleanup now it will scan your system for a load of uh, files that are simply junk files which you don't need select all of them as you can see it frees up one gigabyte now this is already a lot so simply press OK delete the files and they will be deleted now sometimes when you perform a Windows update there will sometimes still be old updates left. So simply go down to the file explorer. So type in the file explorer, open up the file explorer and this will take you to this page. Now from there you simply go down to this PC and once you're in this PC go to local disk. Now if you perform a Windows update, like uh, for example you go from Windows 8 to Windows 11, there will be an old Windows version. And if you don't want to go back to your older version, you can delete this. So simply right click it and delete this file. So simply go to show more options and here delete it. Now for the next step we're going through our applications. So simply go down to the search bar and type in remove. Now this will take you to a list of all the programs installed on your system right here. Now as you can see there are a load of programs on my system. So simply go through all of them and check if you're still using them. Now for example let's say we have Audacity right here. Now it's taken up 66 MB. So simply press the three dots and go to uninstall. Now this will take you to an uninstallation process of the application that you want to delete. So simply delete all the applications that you don't need anymore and free up loads of space on your system. Now let's head to the next step. Now for the following step it's very important that you pay close attention because we're going to the file explorer. So type in in the search bar file explorer 
and now we're going to press in a command in the search home so first we go to this pc and then we go to our local disk drive the one we're using and then here you can search in the local disk type drive simply type in size it has to be all capitals and then double dot and from there type in huge now what this will do it will open up a list of all the big files on your system in order now this can take up a time so let's wait a bit and here you see a load of files like a 1.7 gigabytes 1.2 gigabytes a load of files that take up a load of space now the next one that you can try is the gigantic so simply so simply type in gigantic press enter and as you can see there's already a file that popped up of around 10 gigabytes now these are files make sure to check them before you delete them and let's run it up and as you can see it comes up with a load of really big files now make sure to don't delete files that you don't know for example the data.vhdx don't delete such files and memory files but like the files that I have here that are just simple uh, videos simply select them and drag them into your recycle bin or just delete them now for the last and final option we're going down to the search bar once more and we type in a storage now this will take you to the storage settings now right here there's a whole system provided by windows which lets you uh, manage all the storage on your pc so here are all the installed apps desktop apps temporary files and a load of nice features now we're going to run through them one by one so just simply follow along now here are the installed apps now previously we already deleted some that we don't need so simply go through all these applications sort them by size from large to small and check if there's any programs that you don't use and you will be deleted now from here we go to the desktop now here you can go to the desktop if your desktop and here are a load of uh, files as well all your desktop files now from here we go to the temporary files and here are a load of options to choose from now simply select all of these options except for the downloads options because sometimes there are still important files inside your downloads folders but if you know a certain that there are no important files simply select them and remove them as well also select the recycle bin and as you can see there is a total selected gigabyte file size of 34 gigabytes which is a lot now simply press remove files continue to remove files and here the cleanup will start now once the cleanup has uh, done its job simply go down to the storage sense this is a new feature in windows 11 or windows 10 now what this will do is it will occasionally check your system for cache files for temporary files and for junk files and automatically delete them so here make sure to check this box check the automatic user content cleanup turn it on and here you see a load of options the configuration cleanup schedules now here as you can see we do this every month now, this is a run storage sense the storage sense will check if there are a load of files that don't need to be on your system here are the deleted files in your recycle bin uh, if they are older than 30 days it will be deleted automatically which is a good thing and here you see your deleted files in downloads now if you want to keep your downloaded files simply do not select this and keep it on never now here you can run a storage sense and it will do its job and clean your system now if this tutorials helped you in any kind of way freed up space or made your system faster please leave a like share it in the comments and subscribe for more easy how to tech videos thanks for watching